so what i did is i searched in google chrome game and there are some links like this link is this thing which opens up this game there is another link when i open it it will be this game now if i want to make this game it means that i need lots of things here first of all i need this dinosaur maybe i need this cactus plants uh maybe this this image this game over the text everything i maybe this cloud also i will need and the ground also i will need the ground as, as well the bottom cloud so first question is how to get it and maybe the these music also i need the audio sounds as well and which of the audio sound when the game is over then also there is some audio so i will need all of these resources so one option is i can start drawing uh, there are multiple ways of drawing uh, one what do which i frequently use some sign here i added some white lines so this way you can uh, you can draw in this tool and there are many other tools as well so one option is yes you can uh, use some drawing tool to draw these structures but i i choose uh, i thought of choosing a easier way so i'll repeat again uh, for the person who joined late so uh, we want to make this game in unity so what all things we need uh we need this dinosaur so everything what you see in the game like we have lots of cloud so these clouds also we need we need this cactus plants as well we need the audio also like when i'm jumping there's some audio playing and it's we need the ground also so everything we need so one option is you, we can start drawing all of these by yourself that you can draw using any drawing tool uh what i have done is i have selected a easier way so uh this is one of the game so what i did is in all of the browser in all of the browser you have something called when you right click on the browser you will find lots of option and one of the option is inspect and not i'm not sure if you guys have tried this because lots of people in fact i i came to know about it after college or maybe during college time so when you right click on the browser you will get this option which is inspect option in the inspect there are there are lots of things and all of you please don't try this uh okay each one has tried tried theek hai uh you need not to do all these things i will give you the easier repeat the way uh so i right click these all option came i went to the network tab and i will refresh the page again and by default there are, there are lots of things selected here i will select the image when i select the image it will only show images whoever is interested about it like like to know more about it i may talk about it after the class but for now i'll not talk about it. so we can see that all the images are here so just i'll give i'll give you some example so what happens is when you load this page when you are loading this page from the computer a request or a network request or a internet request is made from your computer and it goes to the site or it goes to the website this website which is elgoog.in something so the request from my computer it goes to that site and from that site uh, that site returns lots of things to you as a part of response so they they for this page they are returning lots of things out of that they are also giving you lots of images and in the network call i have selected only images so uh it's uh, it has filtered out all all the things and it shows all the images that this page has so this whatever 
whatever image that you see in the page, I, uh, that will come up here. So these dinosaurs are there, cactus plant is here. Uh, we have this cloud also, which will be more visible, we'll see. So this is cloud, some text, game over text and all. Uh, this is the ground that you can see. Restart button, cactus again. Okay. So we will read these resources and instead of drawing, what I'll do, is I'll download from here. So I'll right click on this and open a new tab. Use all the larger ones. So 2x1 I will download. So 2x for Ryzen I will take. Uh, restart, I don't need. Text also cloud, I will take 2x large. This is all I'll keep on downloading as well as I'll send you the links. All these photos are downloaded and they came to the downloads folder. These are the images that I have downloaded. Uh, okay. After downloading these images from the link also you can download. After downloading it, what I will do, I will create a new project. I will create a new project and I will select 2D project this time. Pause it. So should we select uh, 3D with extras? 2D. Okay. You can give any name to it. I have given Chrome game name, that's 11, but you can keep any name. And I'm storing in some folder here. So with this, I am going to create the project which you guys have done lots of time. Only special thing here is, now we are creating 2D project. So select 2D and then create it. There are some audio also which is getting used here. So these are offline sound press get reached. So, I told you that in this game we have some audio also. So when I jump, there is some audio. And to make this game, we need this audio as well. So there are three audios game over audio, jump audio, and some score. I think if I cross 100, then make some sound. So I need that audio also. So from the I in the filter I selected media and in the media I have these all these three audios and I will download it. Uh, open a new tab. Sorry, it will download. So this was the audio. I want to download it. Okay, there's a download button. I'll give you this link as well. Okay, I will send you all of these three links so that you guys can also download it. So I think everyone has done till this part, like they have downloaded the images. All the audio and image, both the links will provide in the video description. Okay, sir. And in the assets, I'll create a folder. Uh, Sir, for me, every time I'm not. Okay, so in the assets, I'm creating a new folder. I'll name it Sprite. So, uh, in games, or in 2D games especially, these are called sprites. These are not one image, they are collection of images. So, lots of images are 
packed together. Here you can see that lots of dragon, like not only one dragon, lots of dragons are packed together in one image. And this is called sprite. And I have created folder. I name it is sprites. And in the sprite folder, I will drag and drop all these images. Selected, drag and drop. So now I have all these things, all the images. If you see on all the images, so for you guys also, there should be this this play like button. In the meantime, even if I don't need it today, I'll create folder for audio. Audio. this folder, I'll drag and drop all the audio files as well. Okay, so, so far what I have done, I the assets folder. I created 2D project and I created two folders, a sprites folder and in this I have kept all the sprites and there's an audio folder and in this I put the audio. I pulled the audio. Now what I will do is, uh, if you guys see, uh, if you select the image, this thing if it is down you can pull it up. So. We can see that there are lots of dinosaur and we do we need only one dinosaur in the scene. So out of this image set, how to get one image? So for that, Unity has one tool, and using that tool, you can break this image into multiple images. And you can see that there's a play button in every image. When I click on this, it's, it, it's expands and it shows the same thing uh, in a very bad quality. So you have this play button and you, when you expand it, when you click on it, the arrow moves and you can see the same, same image. Okay, so we have the sprites, all the sprites, so when I click it, it shows the same thing almost shows the same thing. Now uh, I want to break this set of image or a sprite or this image into multiple images so that each image will have one dragon. And also if you notice here, uh, if you notice the dragons, you can see that there are some differences in the dragon. So this and this eyes open, eyes closed. In these two images, front leg is up, back leg is down. Here back leg is up, front is down. Here eye is wide open. This image is used when the when, when you have a game over scenario. So this wide eye open is the case when you have this is small eye open and wide eye open when you lose the game. So this image is used when you lose the game. So with this, with this, with this. Uh, so this is a set of images and we need individual images like this image I need when uh, when we lose the game or game is over. So I need to break this set of images into multiple images, individual images. So how to do that? So for that Unity has uh, a tool which is called Sprite Editor. So if I when I've selected this image, in the right side, I can see some details of the images. In this, it has something on, called a sprite mode, and which is selected to single. Now, I want all of you to look at this. Like, can you see this sprite mode, and which is selected to by default single in your case? So, this is single mode. Now, what I'll do, I will change it to multiple. So, first thing what I did is. 
I selected this and I change it to multiple. After this, I'll, there's a button which is which says Sprite Editor. So I'll click on this button. Unsupported import setting apply. Okay, like something it asked me to apply and I applied. So this is the Sprite Editor tool and it opens my Sprite here. So what is that and single and multiple? Sprite mode. Okay, so single single means single image. In one sprite or one image, you have a single image only. When I made it multiple, it's it means that in this image you might have multiple sprites. And using this a sprite editor, I will break this image into multiple sprites or multiple images. The single image into multiple images, I will break it. So in this editor, I have this image, there is a slice option. In the top, you have this slice button. I click. I clicked on this slice, and here a uh, slice option. And uh, first option is type. There are lots of options. I'll first select the automatic, which is by default selected with this. So I clicked on this slice button, and then on the type, it is it, uh, automatically selected with this. I'll just click slice button. As soon as 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 I click the slice button, I you can see that there are some white lines in between each images or you can say that there are boxes created uh, can i zoom it so now what it did is is this slice option and or with the automatic selected when i clicked on the slice button so it automatically sliced my images into multiple images. This is first image, this is second image, third, fourth, fifth. So Unity or uh, Sprite Editor with the automatic selection, it sliced my image into multiple images. Now what I have to do, I have to click the apply button. I click the apply button and now my image is broken down to six images. This is the first image, this is second image, third, fourth, Fifth, sixth. Each image you can see that they are surrounded by this green, sorry, blue border. So now my single or uh, single image sprite is broken down into one, two, three, four, five, six, six image sprite. Fly. Now if I expand it, you can see that it doesn't show one image, it shows Six images. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, this is uh, camera and camera. On the camera, you have a background property. Now, what we can do, I can drag and drop it in the scene. We have this dragon here. So all of you try this first. I'll wait for some time. Select the image. Select the image, then change the mode to multiple mode. After multiple mode, go to the sprite editor. Click that slide, click on the slice option, select automatic, hit the slice button. After that, after the slice thing, after hitting the slice button, hit the apply button and it will be applied. The slicing will be applied and you will have six images. And when you expand it, you can see it like this. We'll tell you that will come Wait for some time. For now, just do this and drag and drop one of them. Okay, so this is one image. Uh, now I will delete it. So I have this camera and the camera has a background color which is blue. I don't like it. I'll make it. I'll create an empty game object and I'll call it ground. This has some XYZ. I'll reset it. Now it becomes zero zero zero. In this, I 
it selected this image and drag and drop it so i dropped one of the image which is horizon image okay on so this is kind of our ground on which our dragon dragon will walk sir i will apply a collider excuse me sir box collider theek hai so i have added this ground and on the ground i added a box collider this box collider i will resize it its size i will decrease to maybe 0.1 0.1 Okay, I made it size point twenty one. Uh, I'll duplicate it with the control D and move it. Uh, since this is not visible, uh, in two D game you can't add three D assets. You should not add these three D objects like cube, spheres. You should not add. In two D game, we add two D objects, and mostly we use sprites. We add sprites. So I'll add a sprite. I'll call it background. I will reset its position again. It is somewhere. And in two D game, there is only X and Y. There is no Z. There is no depth depth effect. So there is no use of this Z thing. Set it first, and then I'll add some sprites. Okay, I'm doing lots of things. I'll repeat again. Uh, in the sprites, I'm creating one dummy sprite. So if you right click, you will find a in the create option. You will find find a sprites option. In the sprites, lots of sprites are there. I choose. Square option, and in the background, in the sprites, I have selected that, and I'll select the square, and I scale it to twenty. Okay. Okay. I'll explain all of them, all of the things one. Once again, for now. So what I have done, uh, I have added an empty game object, and I called it ground. And in the ground, I dragged and dropped this horizon. And after that, I added a 2D box collider to it. And then I repeated the same thing again. And using move tool, I am moving it. Sir, instead of duplicating it, why can't we scale it? Making please. Uh, sir, uh, we do. Sir, we duplicate it such that it becomes a loop, sir. Ah, uh, okay. First of all, good questions and uh, scaling sometime will uh, distort your image. It the pixel like. Yes, 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 sir. Will become it can become blur. Okay, so that's why I'm not scaling it. I'm duplicating it. Thank you, sir. Okay, so uh, this this first ground, so ground is at zero zero zero. First horizon, which is this ground, uh, which is at zero 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 position, and second ground I have kept it at twenty four position, so that one will come after like first next next will come after the first one. Uh, this is what I did, and to make it more visible, I added a background. But you don't need a background. Uh, I have the scene. The scene. Take it. So I have added the ground, and now again, uh, one more awesome thing I'm going to do. This time, uh, last time I dragged and dropped one image, one dragon. This time, what I'm going to do, I'll select one this image. And this image as well, and this image as well. So I've selected three images. 
break zero with a normal and this one which has a leg a leg up and this has leg down like first one so i have selected these three images zero two and three and with this all images selected i will drag and i'm dragging and dropping it says multiple if you can see my screen it says multiple when i dropped it okay lots of things are coming some some are coming for the permission so i'll just allow them okay so i've given the permission now uh, if you can see that i have a window open which says that create a new animation for the game object to extract something 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 and it also tells me where i do i want to save it and by default it shows me sprite folder the folder that i had uh what i will do is i'll go to the assets folder and in the assets folder okay in the assets folder i'll create a new folder i'll call it any reason now i select uh, move the folder so in the assets folder i created animation folder and in the animation folder i'll save it and i'll give the name as a uh, player so in the option like when i selected three images and I, when i was selecting and dropping this three images this pop up came and by default the save location was the sprites so i created a new folder animations and i changed the folder save folder to animation and the to animation i have given renamed it to player instead of new animation i renamed it to player i'll save it okay uh ठीक है, so now this is the trick, and this the uh, this the three images that which I selected and dropped it. These are the three images which is combined together, and if you see that in the inspector, it has some name transform sprite renderer, and it has something called animator. So what is this? We'll look later. What I'll do, I'll first rename it to player. so what is spy a sprite render or something ha ah, sprite so, render uh, in the 3d games if you see all the all the 3d objects you will have mesh renderer and for the sprites for the sprites you will have this sprite renderer so a sprite renders renderer renders the image or uh, paint the image on the scene so this is related to unity renderer or some painter which paints the image in the scene for 3d games you will have mesh renderer and for 2d games you will have a sprite renderer and uh, will not go beyond this uh, this is again a good topic but you will not for now i am for most of the time you don't need to go in more details okay after this you have this animator uh, what i i did is i renamed it to player instead of something some whatever it was uh, i'll add some components like rigid body 2d i will add first and second i'll add a uh, box collider box slider 2d to this player so this fits almost fits better i think you might use uh, no i think this will fit better so i i added two more component to it box collider and if you see this is in between the ground so what i'll do i'll just uh, move it up a bit higher with this i'll play the game sir can you once more explain how did you put it in the uh i'll do that layer and stuff okay. i'll do that i'll do that so now you can see that uh his it's like this dinosaur legs are moving i'll explain everything how it happened and what is happening so you can notice this it's the legs are moving so the dinosaur is not actually walking its legs but <laughs> the legs are moving so in real game in most of the 2d game the player actually doesn't move with the animation like uh, i mean the player this animates 
and to put to give the motion what you have to do you might use transform or translate which is done in most of the, most of the cases in this case instead of moving this player i will move the ground back so i will do that uh, i will quickly create a folder for sprite scripts i'll explain uh, everything once again for now just watch all of you and in this uh, i'll create a script move left and inside this i'll write, write only few lines of code maybe only one line or two line so i'll use transform dot translate to make it move left create a public variable so that it will be visible okay load dot translate direction will be vector p dot left to speed sir what is the file name sir the script file name uh move left okay sir just watch it for some time sir so uh, shouldn't it sir sh it shouldn't be vector 2 uh sir vector 3 is an inbuilt uh, function sir uh, in uh, c sharp uh, transform mostly uses the vector 3 so in our case up and down left and right will work but forward or backward will not work because forward and backward represents z axis or z direction transform mostly use vector 3 so yes there is this confusion sometime in the 2d games we have to use vector 3 and sometime we have to use vector 2 uh, but this formula let me check has lots of overloads let's just confirm it uh vector 3 vector 3 x y z uh no it takes only vector 3 so transform takes vector 3 and also in this game also if you see in in all the cases for all the player transform has x y z all the things it has z is zero z is not used but z is there okay so even it is not used it is there sir so where vector 2 is used uh can you speak louder sir where vector 2 is used vector 2 will use i'll show you in the vector <laughs> game only will use vector 2 but transform works with vector 3 only but it will not use the z direction okay so what i did i created a script uh, move left and inside i have added only two extra line one is i created a variable speed and given some value 5 and one line i have added transform dot translate direction left move this speed and line dot delta line and what i will do is do is in this ground i will apply this script move left now let me play the game if you see it looks like the dragon is walking i am moving this uh, box collider a bit down okay take okay. uh, i'll play it on the last screen so we know the truth that dragon is not moving uh ground is moving back but it looks like dragon is moving okay so this i will again explain everything uh so what we did here uh 
first thing it uh, i i created a, uh, it had a new scene and in the scene in the camera i changed the background color very basic thing we have done it multiple times i created a ground object which was a empty game object empty game object and in this ground object i dragged and dropped uh this horizon image and after this after dragging and dropping i added a uh, box collider to it and i i have i resized it uh, it's a y i changed the value i uh, i decreased the y size and also moved it minus 0.5 below and not keeping it at a zero i moved it up uh, a bit lower so that uh, it doesn't appear that the dragon is walking on higher the ground so it should look like it is walking on the ground so i just uh, moved it a bit lower the box collider and then i repeated the same thing i i created one more horizon so duplicated it so this is how i created the ground after this uh, i created the player so how i created the player uh, so in this image uh, which is player uh, which is this dragon images so i selected three images one is uh, one is zero image second is this one and this image so all these three i selected and i dragged and dropped it i dragged all three as soon as i drag uh, it asks this option will come to all of you like it asked me to save a new animation so what happens here is in 2d games uh, what is animation so what we do is uh, maybe i'll do control z to bring back my player uh, so what actually happens what we do is in a very short time we change multiple images so here i am switching between these three images one is this where both the legs are on the ground uh this image where one is one leg is left uh, like back leg is down and front leg is up and then this image if, if you see that i if i switch between these two like i select it feels like i'm like uh, you can see the same animation here when i'm cha quickly changing this image and the, selecting uh, like these images if i'm selecting quickly so this is what animation is in 2d games switching between multiple images at a at a fast speed switching between multiple images so this is what happening here and when i selected these three images and dra dragged and dropped it into the scene unity creates an animation for you using these three three images and what it does it when you play the game it quickly changes from this image to next image then next image then again back to the first image then next image then this image again back to the first image and it does it very fast in fast manner so that it will not be visible to you order we can also see that uh, maybe uh, we'll talk about animation so this is what happening here we'll talk about animation uh, or date also uh, so these are three images this image so these are these are three images and the uh, unity is changing between these three images very fast and it looks like the dragon is walking so this is what 2d animation is changing uh, if between images in a faster manner and this thing you might have seen in multiple ways uh, multiple places so this is what 2d animation is uh, and how to get it the easier way is just select multiple images and drag and drop it which is which is what i did and then i renamed it and added rigid body and box collider with this my player is almost ready and i added a move back script to the ground now there are multiple problems here uh, first of all the ground gets over 
but in the real game that we play the game the chrome game down never gets over so we'll see how to make it in finite it comes infinitely like it will, it should never get over so i'll show you in the next class secondly uh, the dragon should jump so how to make the dragon jump with code we can make so for jumping we will use to or to give a real jump effect we will use the reset body so for that i have created a video sir, uh, sir i want to ask you something yeah please go ahead sir how did you select the three images and put it in the, the hierarchy uh the way you select like i i'm pressing control button in windows it is control but control button so first select one image then press control button then select second image and hold keep like keep your hold your uh, control button and then select third image so we are stopping this project theek okay, hai so in the last class we had done this thing uh, i had the car and in the car uh, car auto move and car so move and rotation we had done so car was moving with some speed different speeds and one car is rotating or transform dot transform so we had used only transform dot transform or transform dot rotate so these two function you will use a lot specific transform dot translate you will use a lot which we just we just used so in car auto move we have a uh, transform dot translate and here we are using transform dot rotate in the translate uh, in the rotate we first provide the axis along which along which it will rotate or the object will rotate and in this case the axis is up which is the y axis so along the y axis i am rotating the car there is another way of providing of you if you if i keep my keep my mouse here you can see that it says sort hand for writing a vector 3 0,1,0 if you see the message so it says that this vector dot up is equivalent to new vector 3 0,1,0 so vector vector 3 dot up is equivalent to this thing where value is x is 0 y is 1 and z is 0 if i save it and run the code run the game there shouldn't be any change in the rotation of the car Sort of car. So, but can we use anything uh, whichever we want in these two, ah, so or is there any difference between them? Okay. Uh, so this car it has the auto rotate script. I will remove this script, and in this game object, I will create a three D object called uh, Sphere Cube. In this cube, I will not attach anything like rigid body and all. Or colliders, so that so it will will it will fly in the in the air because I am not adding adding rigid body, so it will not fall on the ground. And on this, you can see that we have a mesh render here. In case of 2D game, it will be sprite render. In case of 3D game, it will be mesh render. And I will add auto rotate auto rotate script, and the speed is 10. Play the game. Sir, should we also add a cube? Uh, wait for some time. Uh, this is rotating with a very slow speed. Uh, maybe I'll add hundred. Okay, so so.
so in the auto rotate uh, instead of vector three dot up if we write it like this it will not nothing will change like because vector three dot up is same as zero dot one dot zero now instead of this i will create a variable with the name uh vector c and it will be rotate along Rotate direction. Or rotate direction. And this I can set to vector three dot up. So I created a variable for this thing, and variable I have assigned made it vector three dot up. Assigned the same value here, and I am using it. so so far you guys have seen that i have made variable only for primitive types like or value integer type float type or boolean or a string these are called primitive types as well or simple types we can make variable of complex type like vector 3 as well and i have assigned the value equals to vector 3 dot up instead of this i can set it to new Vector three zero comma one comma zero. Leave this. Okay. One last thing. So I can make other values also one. So it will rotate along y-axis as well as x-axis. So now it is rotating along two axes, the so y as well as x. So this is what the movement is. And if we make it public. if we make it public then it will be visible in the unity editor also so i made it public now i go to the editor and you can see that it has in the auto rotate script it has two variables one was rotate the speed which i have set it to 100 and second variable is rotate along direction and it has three fields because is a vector three Field, so it has x, y, and z, and here also we can play along. Uh, instead of one, I'll maybe set it to point one. This will be one, or this will be point five. so so the take away here is uh these are called simple variables like simple type float integer strings are called simple types these are complex type because you can see that these are not simple uh it has three fields like x y and z x is a floating variable so these are complex so we can create variable of complex type as well not only float type or integer type some complex type like vector 3 is one of the type so we can create variable of complex type as well and if we make it public complex variable public also they will also become visible in the game editor and yeah you can play along you can set some values and vector 3 dot up uh or vector 3 dot left vector 3 dot left represents vector 3 dot left this represents x equals to minus 1 rest are 0 0 right will be x equals to 1 and since we if we right if we move in direction of uh, right so it moves towards x 
So that is why x value is one and rest are zero. ठीक है तो गाइस प्लीज ट्राई दिस इंस्टेड ऑफ यूजिंग दिस थिंग क्रिएट अ वेरिएबल स्टोर द स्टोर द वैल्यू एंड लेटर इन द एडिटर इट सेल्फ वी कैन चेंज इट आई पुट द कोड कोलैब एडिटर वेरिएबल बेनिफिट हियर विल बी वॉन्ट टू चेंज द डायरेक्शन वी कैन चेंज इट कार ऑटो मूव सो नाउ वी हैव अ मूव डायरेक्शन फील्ड हियर एंड is set to it is set to vector 3 dot forward so forward means move in z direction so that's why z is set to 1 if i make it 0 and if i make it x equals to 1 so it will start moving in x direction which is just play the game so now we can see that it is trying to move left but because of this car it is getting dragged also ठीक है तो मूव डायरेक्शन आल्सो आई कैन मेक इट पब्लिक एंड वी कैन चेंज इट फ्रॉम हियर लाइक वैल्यूज सो वी कैन आल्सो क्रिएट वेरिएबल्स ऑफ कॉम्प्लेक्स टाइप नॉट सिंपल टाइप्स एंड इफ यू मेक इट पब्लिक एनी एनी वेरिएबल पब्लिक दे विल बी विजिबल इन द एडिटर एंड यू कैन प्ले अलोंग विद दैट ठीक है वन लास्ट एंड द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग Plane size two. I'll create a game object. Call it Star Creator. Somewhere in the air, I put it. Car creator. Can I set to zero? Zero. And y is eight. Uh, when we imported the cars, so we got this folder car model, and in this folder we have one folder which is car model one. We have folder which has one of the prefab which is car model 1 what i'll do i'll make a duplicate of it the control d uh i will rename it original car this is the car and this has almost nothing it doesn't have a uh, collider box collider and no collider it has no script it has so i'll add some components here uh, 
I'll add box collider to it. Box collider. I will, I will leave it with whatever size it is. Box collider I've added, I will add rigid body as well. And auto script also I will add. Come out to move. So I created a duplicate of this thing and then I added three components box collider, rigid body, and car auto move. Direction is forward direction, speed is one. In this original car, I have done all these things. Now I'll go back. Now I'll create a script with the name car. So, function I have told about that there are functions that we write. So, in this in this uh, file, we have these two functions. Here also we have only one function. So, these functions I have written. There are some functions which are provided by Unity. Translate is also a function which is which is uh, attached to the transform object. So translate is a function which is defined by, again, already defined in the Unity and using that you can move a object. Rotate is also a function and using that you can rotate an object. There is a function which is defined in Unity, instantiate. And using this function, you can create any game object. So using this function, you can create a new game object. So in this function, you have to tell which game object you want to create first. Uh, second, you have to you have to tell that at which position you want to create, and third, if you want any rotation to it. Uh, so for game object that I want to create, I'll create a public reference variable, a variable. Uh, car prefab. So I've created a variable of type game object. This is not integer, not float, not vector. Game object. Game object is another type. And in this in this variable, I can store a game object. So I've created a variable car prefab, and I will use instance instantiate function to create car object. Also, I'll tell at what position we want. So, position should be transform dot position. Uh, these two lines I'll maybe explain later. So, this is the position where we, where I want to create create it. So, I want to create this at the same position where the car creator is, and the rotation will be also same. Whatever the rotation of car creator is. So with this instantiate function, we will create cars at this position, which is game car creator position and car creator rotation. Now, if I put it, if, the, if I leave the code like this, it will create lots of lots of lots of cars. So instead of this, I'll put entire code inside a it block and if you say, I'll say put dot get key down and if the key is key four maybe called C. So if you press C button, then only it will call this function. So if you press C button, then only this function will be called. So when I press a C button, this function will be called and this function, what it will do, it will create a car. It will create this game object, car prefab. And where it will create at the same position where this car creator is, transform.position will give the car creator position and transform.rotation. So rotation will also same as the car creator. So this is 
so the line of code is one line is this second line is this and i have wrapped this thing inside a condition that if you press a c button then only it will create and this is the instant instantiate function which is very important function and we'll use it a lot of lot of lot of time during game so i'll attach this create this is script to this car created empty object and here we have to assign some car prefab or some game object we have to assign that game object will be created i can assign anything so for now we have only this prefab so i'll attach it original car i dragged and dropped it here i dragged it and dropped it here this is the is a game now if i press c button you can see that again okay? so the c button sorry sir so many cars uh, again can you speak louder sir there so many cars coming ha ah, yeah lots of cars are calling so when i press c button then a new car is and you can see that in hierarchy lots of lots of original car clone original car clone original car clone have been created since i the box size is not fitting fitting best the car so that's why uh so the car got stuck with this instantiate function you can create new game object using code so using code so when i am pressing the c button then this function is being called instantiate function and this car is getting created and this way you can create a junkyard of car or maybe lots of things you can do and this this is very much uh, used a lot at lots of places so in our game like a uh, uh, dragon game rome dragon game we'll create the uh, cactus using this instantiate function in the code only like when you fix when i will fix the uh, uh, box collider then this it will not come like the cars are getting stuck that you guys can try okay so we'll use the same concept and uh we'll use the same concept and create uh, create lots of cactus in the way of dragon so we'll do in the next class any question this is it for today uh i'll give you this script okay again, sir uh again this is very simple uh, only kind of these two lines are important important and i kept it put it inside a c block uh, in, in the if condition if you press only then it will be created sir can we put any letter like e f g or something like that anything like yeah, which so. are is easy yes you can put anything any space bar also and later oh. we do it on some condition like yeah, we will see i'll give you this code uh, again collab dot edit I repeat again. Uh, what I did is here is I created a duplicate of this car, and then added uh, original car, and then I added uh, box collider, rigid body, and car auto boot script to it. I created an empty game object car creator. Inside this, I attached car creator creator script, and I dragged and dropped this car data here, so that in the code it will know which game object it has to create. uh i can make a prefab of this cube by dragging and dropping the cube here and i can also instead of car i can drop this cube 
and now if i play the game and i press c button it will create cubes it, uh, so you can see that lots of cubes are getting created at one position only okay lot of them have are created at one position only since they are doesn't have rigid body and also they are just flying now so we can use any prefab here it doesn't like how to create a prefab just create the object and drag and drop it in the pre in the folder prefab folder or any folder which i did so i just dragged and dropped it here and then in the creator instead of car i assigned the cube and now it will create cube instead of car and if i assign car it will create car so the code says the code says whatever is provided here in this game object variable whatever is provided it will create it so if you provide car it will create car if you provide cube it will create cube it will if you provide cactus it will create cactus if you provide bullets it will create bullets yeah that is it for today uh